Hi guys and ladies, a subscriber pointed out an online recipe to me and I was blown away by the photo. My mouth watered. It's blackened shrimp and I have some shrimp in the freezer, but I wonder if it'll work on fish too. Well, all we need are a couple of fish. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. This week we had floods, so Lake Catcher Big One's water is a muddy mess, but let's try to catch a fish anyway. This is a classic 1 8 ounce beetle spin. When fishing is tough, small is always good, and the spinner blade just might allow the fish to see the lure. So let's give it a try. Look, I've switched to a bait casting reel because the bail wasn't closing right on my spinning reel. And I can cast this little uh, beetle spin just fine with a bait caster. Uh, the problem is the mud. The water is just too muddy. I had one fish on and he got off. My thinking is, let's go up that hill there. There's a pristine pond, little pond, and it's always clear. Let's give that a try. This is a small bass, but I can tell by the size that it's second generation. The first generation, there are few of them, but they're really big. But this is all right because we have a lot of these. And so I can save this for my recipe. I got one! The kind that I need for my recipe. Well, this size fish is in abundance here in this pond, so we can take a few for the recipe. We won't hurt the pond. You know, when I was young, I used to drive around farm country looking for ponds to fish, and I would knock on the door, and a lot of times I got permission to fish. Many times they said no, but when they said yes, I was able to fish a new pond. I suggest everyone do that. Just between you and me, I used to sneak up on golf course ponds and fish, especially Mondays. There were few golfers out and I caught some good fish on a golf course pond. You don't have to buy land with a lake, but someday you may want to. Look at that! A nice perch. I'm keeping them. This is the most delicious fish in the world. I'm keeping it. Well, we only caught three fish, but that should be enough for our recipe. Let's get in the house, fillet these guys, and tomorrow it's blackened fish and shrimp. Yesterday was a fishing lesson. Fish can't bite what they can't see. So the solution was to find clear water. And looky here, we have over a half pound of these nice fish fillets. And I'm eager to get to this blackened fish and shrimp recipe. But first, we need a side. How about risotto? Ah, 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 you know me. It's got to be low carb risotto. Why is my risotto fake? It's because I'm going to use this. It's riced cauliflower frozen in the bag. All I'm going to do is put these in the microwave just enough to defrost them. In goes our cauliflower. So to that, I'm going to add three tablespoons of 
softened butter, a half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, and some fresh cracked pepper. Let's stir this a little. I don't know if I have to cover this or not, but I'm going to cover it. And then it goes in the microwave for six full minutes. Ow, ow, ow. This has been in the microwave for six minutes. It's piping hot. I have here Belgio Ioso. If you could say that, you're better than I am. Belgio Ioso Mascarpone e Cheese. It's pronounced Mascarpone. Mascarpone cheese. Now, if you don't have this, don't worry. Use a brick of cream cheese. Let's get this in there. Notice I softened this first. Now let's just mix everything. This is going back in the microwave for five minutes. Here we go, fresh from the microwave a second time. What I have here is Parmigiano Reggiano. You could use Parmesan, but you have to say Parmigiano Reggiano. If you don't say it like that, the food comes out very bland. So I've let our fake risotto cool down a little bit, and I have here basil pesto. I'm going to add one-third of a cup. Let's stir again. So just before serving, I'll throw some chopped parsley on top. Right now, let's get on with the fish. I don't know if this will work or not, but here I have almost a pound of fresh shrimp, and here is our fish. And I'm going to cut up our fish to sort of match the size of the shrimp. I'm cutting our little guys into thirds, more or less. I know I said fresh shrimp. Well, this is fresh defrosted. Let's get that in there. And now we're going to add our fish into our bowl. Let's add three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm adding a whole tablespoon of paprika here. Now a teaspoon of garlic powder. Here's about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Three quarters of a teaspoon of onion powder. Here's about three quarters teaspoon of thyme. If you have the thyme, we have the beer. Here's about a half teaspoon or so of oregano. In Great Britain, they say oregano. Here's about a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now, a good dose of freshly ground pepper. So that's it. Now I'm just combining everything. I'm nervous. I've got a hot skillet here, a really big one. If you don't have a big one like this, you have to do this in batches. Well, here goes. I'm just gonna coat the bottom with olive oil. Well, here goes. I'm gonna pour the whole bowl in here. I'm going to cook these up just two minutes on each side. Oh, better watch my clock. Okay, it's time to flip. It's been two minutes on side two. Time to get them all out. Oh, the aroma. Oh, I wish you could smell this. Oh, this is so good. I can smell how good this is. I put our seafood in the oven just to keep it warm. You see, I need to tell you all, I'm so excited. The famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is about to arrive here for dinner tonight. As happy as I am, you should know that all isn't perfect with our relationship. I've been trying for decades to get her to see the joys of married life. Yet she seems to have a, I don't know, negative view of marriage. If only I could change her mind. Look, I know the shrimp is great. Let me just take some fish, <laughs> a chunk of fish. Hmm, little garlic. Oh, the seasoning is, is just perfect. It looks spicy, but it isn't that spicy. It's just so flavorful. I wish I could describe food better, but it's really flavorful. Give this a try. Mm, mm. Now I've got to try some of our creamy risotto. Mm. Basil, little garlic, creamy, cheesy, delicious. Parmigiano Reggiano, you can taste everything. This is so good, so creamy, so good. Try this. Our guest tonight is no stranger to the food world. It's the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, and thank you so much for honoring me here 
uh, with your presence at my abject, uh, abysmal abode. And uh, you had a chance to dine on my blackened fish and shrimp, along with the uh, fake risotto in a creamy pesto sauce. And I'm anxious to know what you think. Oh, it was both. They were both very good. The fish and the uh, shrimp. You know, I like anything that's blackened, and they were both very nice, very well done. Oh, thank and you. the risotto was excellent. It was rich and creamy and cheesy and all of, all of the above. That's thank you. I like very both, nice. both yes. Uh, yes. side and main yes. dish very, very well. Miss Cheeks, uh, don't you agree that marriages are made in heaven? Yes, but so are thunder, lightning, tornadoes, and hail. Oh. oh. Um, can I have a hug?